Hello, in, in this uh, little video I want to just show how to stack images using Maxim DL, that is images from a CCD camera. The first step is to set up the calibration and you go to first of all to process, click on that and calibration wizard. Now in the calibration wizard you just, uh, first bit is just telling what it's going to do, so you just click next you then choose whether your camera is at a temperature regulated or not and mine is regulated uh, whether you want it to find the files automatically and that's uh, the easiest so you then click next on this uh, window you um, by clicking the button there find the place where your images are stored all the lights, the darks, the flats and the bias all need to be stored in the same folder although not necessary in the same subfolders. Right, we now click Next and it says OK, you've now finished, so you click Finish and now the Set Calibration box there is now com uh, has been filled up with all the details of the images you have um, put into it. For example, in this case we've got 20 bias frames, 25 flat frames, 9 darks and then these three, I presume, are the masters that have been created. So we just say OK. We then go to Process again, and this time we go to Stack. Right, first thing we did need to know is to add the files that we wish to stack, that is the lights. So we click on Add Files. That will take you to somewhere on your computer. You need to um, make it go to the place where you've got your files. Right, in this case it's here, there's that one down the bottom, there's 19 lights altogether. So I've chosen all of those and say open. It reads them and has made a, a little file in this box called NGC9281. It did that automatically. Now the first thing you should do is uh, right click on that and you need to set it to auto calibrate. Just click that. If we do it again, you'll see auto calibrate is, is ticked. Right, then go to align and you need to choose the auto star matching. Then go to the combine and choose SD mask. You don't need to worry about, uh, worry about the quality or the color. Right, we then press go. All the other things, by the way, you just leave as default. Press Go, and it is now combining those images, and also calibrating them. Right, nearly finished. There we go, and there they are. Close that box down, there's the final uh, hydrogen alpha image. It's obviously stretched, but um, in fact, if you change the stretching to low, you can see it's a bit dimmer. It needs to be transferred to Photoshop for a little bit of processing. You can do the same uh, with the other images, and then later on, using the color, combine color command, you can combine all three together. Okay, that's it.